Hello, my name is Michael Owen, and I'm a Principal Solution Consultant here at Zscaler. And today, I'm excited to bring you some news on a new offering that supports our C10 program. But first, a definition. C10 stands for Continuous Threat Exposure Management. And the latest offering in this area is our asset exposure management tool called Chasm. Chasm stands for Cyber Asset Attack Surface Management. And in order to understand how Chasm is working, first we need to understand the underlying technology, which is the data fabric for security. The data fabric is responsible for ingesting data from lots of different sources. You might be interested in data coming from your EDR. You might be interested in data and asset and finding information from your CMDB, from your cloud. You might be interested in data coming from your data posture management, or maybe even your Zscaler or network telemetry. And lastly, your identity and access management. And all of this data is being ingested into the data fabric. What the data fabric is doing is transforming this information. It is not a data warehouse. It is not a data lake. It is transforming this data to give you better business insights for your environment. First, it's harmonizing that data. Think of how many different ways different tools might report the same thing about an asset. So for example, one tool may report an asset name as Microsoft Windows. Another tool might report the same asset name on the same asset, but this time as Windows. We need to harmonize that into a consistent name to ensure consistency across the information. Secondly, we deduplicate no one tool has all of the information about your assets, but we can combine all of the data across all of the tools to get a superset. But we also see lots of overlap. We need to ensure that we're reporting the same asset once within all of those data sources and not actually reporting the same asset multiple times because multiple tools have seen that data. Thirdly, we correlate. Here what we're doing is essentially connecting the dots. One data source might understand the IP address of that asset. Another data source might understand that asset is a crown jewel. So by combining all of that information together, we end up with an enriched view of our asset landscape. Now lots of Chasm tools can build their inventory from hundreds of different sources. That's not what makes this unique. What makes this unique is the transformation capability of the data fabric for security. And that delivers three powerful outcomes. So first, asset inventory. The data fabric recognizes all of the data and gives us an enriched, complete view of exactly what we've got in our environment. Second, coverage gaps. Your EDR can't necessarily tell you where the EDR agent is not installed, but we can. We can look at the data from other sources to determine if a set of assets do not have the EDR agent installed and the ones that do, what version is it running? Is it up to date? Is it out of date? And lastly, risk mitigation. We can automate workflows to enable things like tickets to identify a, an agent that is out of date and needs to be rectified. And it doesn't stop there. We have other applications that sit on top of the same 
data fabric for security. We have our Unified Vulnerability Management Solution, or UVM. This takes vulnerability data from scanners and together with risk and mitigating factors, allows you to determine the correct level of severity for those threats and exposures within your business. We also have Risk 360. Again, this is an application that sits on top of the data fabric for security. It is bringing in not only the zero trust exchange telemetry, but also the external data to give you a more improved financial quantification understanding. And then lastly, we can employ some very powerful feedback loops. We might, for example, notice an, a risky asset within one of these solutions and we can inform the Zero Trust Exchange that an asset poses a potential risk and that we can enforce a policy change to that asset, thus giving you time to go and investigate the problem. So if you're thinking of deploying a C10 program within your business, then come and speak to us. You can find more information about all of this on our website, www.zscaler.com. Thanks for listening. Thank you.